Hi everybody, this is Mike with Viper Hobby Supply. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about um, the use of the DS64s to throw your turnouts on the layout and uh, I'm sure a lot of this might be um, something that people that have used them already know. I didn't, so I'm going to post a video on it. Let's, uh, let me do a little explanation here and uh, we'll see what I have to say. Okay everybody, what I mean about the DS64 thing, um, what, what we've had happen, I had happen here and we've had happen at the fairgrounds is uh, when I turn on the layout here and the layout out there, uh, we have all of our routes set in our, um, and all of our turnouts when we turn off the layout are in the proper place that we want them to be. But when we turn on the layout, uh, all the switches start throwing. Uh, you, all you hear on the layouts is just click, 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 click. I called Digitrax about it, and what it turns out is, uh, what happens is, if the power comes on immediately, and you have the DS64s plugged into their power source, their brain starts working immediately and says, hey, our job is to throw switches. So they start throwing switches. Not in any particular place, but they just start throwing switches, okay? No memory to them at all. They just click, 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 for about maybe 15 seconds, 20 seconds, long enough for a, for a bunch of them to get stopped in the incorrect direction. And uh, what happens is at that point, at that 15 or so seconds that it takes, then the brain of the uh, Digitrack system comes on and the loco net comes up, and the loco net, being the brain, tells the DS64s, okay, stop, I'm in control now. And uh, so they stop wherever they're at. And, and unfortunately, you know, maybe 20% of them, 50% of them, whatever random number it is, happen to be taken control of when they're in the wrong direction. So you have to then scour the layout and go through one by one and set all your turnouts back to their um, normal, or whether normal is closed or thrown, you have to set them back to their normal position. Um, what I found out was, because there's that 15 second, I'm just using that as a random number, I don't know what it is, but I think it's about 15 seconds, that gap between the time the DS64s re, uh, start to do what they're supposed to do and the, their brain kicks in, um, the only way to do that is put them on a uh, a timer, which I've uh, I've actually bought one from a couple of them from China uh, that would be able to be. In fact, here's one right here. Here's a little timer I bought from eBay on, from China. Uh, it works, but the uh, wiring of it is. They have a diagram on their website. It's not the simplest thing on the planet. And the first thing I found out, I bought two of them. And the first thing I found out is if you apply the power positive and negative backwards, there's no protection and they burn right up. Uh, I think this is still the good one, but I don't know as I'll trust this to supply all the power. It, it were, would work good because it would allow you to set the delay between the time your DS64s come on and the brain kicks in. It would allow the brain to kick in first and then the DS64s. Um, but I don't, because I burned one up and there, there's no protection, uh, I'm a little leery of putting it in there because I'm afraid I'll put it in there and then uh, the thing will somehow burn up and then um, I'll be won't have any switch control. So to simplify this operation, I'm going to put a toggle switch on the front of the layout here and at the club out there. And the pro um, the process will be that when you get ready to turn the layout off, you flip off the DS64s first, then you flip off the system. When you come in and you go to turn the system on, you turn the system on first and then flip on the DS64s in about 30 seconds or 15 seconds. Um, I know it takes that takes a manual brain, but um, it's less expensive and um, the person who does it will only do it once or twice if they have to go around the whole layout and reset all the turnouts. Uh, so you will eventually, or they will eventually remember to do it. Um, so that's what we've chosen to do there, that's what I've chosen to do here, I just haven't done it. Uh, as you can see, I have a couple other things going on here among repairs and things that I'm doing. But anyway, this is my little spiel about the DS64s. Um, I did a, did a little uh, brief, very brief commentary about this in my video 40. Uh, but I wanted to post a separate video on the DS64s explaining to you 
um, what my experience is and, and what the remedy is. And I'm sure there's many people out there who have gone through this. However, I had not, so I didn't know. Um, um, I didn't know if it was not initializing properly or what the deal was. But it, it turns out just to be a matter of if you picture it as being the motor skills, your motor skills, arms going before your brain tells them, "Hey, stop!" before you hit something. Uh, so uh, anyway. That's a simplified version, but anyways, um, that's what I found out about them, and I hope this helps somebody with their DS64s. So anyway, this is Mike, and take care, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks.